So thank you very much for coming. Uh, this is the Kamloops Citizen Safety, so Safety Committee Association, and um, our goal is that you are interested in what we're talking about today, and you agree with some of the things that we're talking about today. And so you take it your cell phone and go to KamloopsCSC.org, where you can sign up as a member of the association, which gives us our power and our voice when we are speaking with our local government. So, what is the KCSC Association? We are a nonprofit association. We started in 2023. Uh, we're not affiliated with any, any political parties, and we are citizens just like you, citizens and residents of Kamloops and TNRD, so we're 100% grassroots citizen movement. So why associate with KCSC? Well, instead of going and voting every four years, and we vote in our, our politicians and our local government, and then allowing them to go through the next four years to be lobbied and, and, um, and addressed by a bunch of other parties, we want to continue to bring your voice into that conversation. So um, that allows us to capture your voice, that's where we're talking about membership, and then it also gives you a seat at the table. So whether you're there physically and active or not, we are here to bring you updates on what's happening and also to go and speak with our local councils and, and pay attention to what they're doing. We know that this works because every province, every organization, every company has an association. So why don't the people have an association so that their voice can be heard as well? And you'll hear about that in just a moment. We do that because we want to make your voice count. We want to make sure that, that our government is kept local and that the people's voice that they are supposed to be representing is also heard. So we know that there's a problem. So this is our local politician. This could be a city council or um, a local MLA. And every day or every week, he's receiving information from the provincial government. He's receiving um, requests from the federal government on what they're supposed to be doing. We also have the Union of BC Municipalities, the Local Government Management Association. They'll come in with their voice and what they want to have done. We have the Federation of Canadian Municipalities. And then we move to trade associations, kind of getting closer to the people. We have the unions that will also be there to let their voice be heard. And big business will be visiting them to let them know what they would like to see done. And then we have a never-ending number of non-governmental organizations who will come and speak to our council and our representatives. And most of them don't even have anyone in cameras. So what do we want to do? We want to restore the balance by bringing your voice into this equation. So what does the KCSC represent? So we want to keep government local. We believe that the local government will have the greatest impact on our lives, and so that's the most important. We also need to pay attention to the people that they represent. We want to counter undue influence of special interest groups so that our voices are heard. This is from the NGOs and the provincial and federal intergovernmental bodies and the local decision making. We think that the local people should have a voice as well. And this is where we want to make decisions for towns first for Kamloops residents. We also believe in a common sense climate policy. So what does this mean? Well, we oppose expensive new building codes and retrofit requirements. We want to protect property owners' rights to land use, water use, and development. We want to support transportation alternatives and vehicle owners. So it's not just one, it's both. And we want to maintain and improve world-class utilities and services, and this means keeping natural gas as an example, where appropriate. So we want to keep the government in its lane. The KCSC will be the citizen watchdog, and when our local government and representatives are making decisions that affect safety, security, and privacy of citizens, or the property owner's rights, uh, we'll make sure that we are there to say something through the lens of the guaranteed individual Canadian rights that we have here in hand. 
For accountability, we think there should be a lot more transparency and light uh, in local decision making. We want to fix the FOI process, and we want to bring you to have a seat at the table. And what this means is that there's maybe fewer secret meetings or closed meetings so that citizens can see what's going on. Um, there's a huge issue with the FOI process where it can cost you thousands of dollars just to ask um, for information on some decision that they've made. That information should be available to us because they're representing us. And to increase community engagement, and this series of town halls and open houses is what that's all about. For technology, uh, we oppose unchecked proliferation of technology throughout the city. So we know that we know that uh, uh, technology can be good for us, and there's a lot of good things that that are moving forward here. But at the same time, we want to support guardrails and checks and balances to make sure that our safety and our our security and privacy is maintained. And that can be done through um, proper consultation with residents, as well as us helping you to stay informed on what's happening. Where it makes sense, obviously, we want to uh, in implement technology, uh, where that might save money or reduce costs and increase uh, effectiveness for residents. So, as I mentioned at the beginning, um, membership is here, it's free. You can access uh, joining our membership through your cell phone, um, going to camlipscsc.org, or one of the lovely ladies at the back, they have paper forms as well if you'd like to go that route. It's open to anybody who's in the TNR region, and uh, we also have a, uh, an AGM that will be held in February now, um, where we'll elect uh, a board and expand our council. Thank you very much. <laughs>